So what do these results actually mean? Well, when comparing my test results now to my test results from earlier this year, we can see that my aerobic engine has decreased. You can see this by looking at the drop in my VO2 max, as well as the gain in my VLA max, meaning I'm more reliant on carbohydrates and my total aerobic engine has decreased in size. My January test set the foundation for some of my best power numbers over the last couple seasons, where I went on to hit 1045 watts for 5 seconds, 402 watts for 3 minutes, 335 watts for 12 minutes, and 317 watts for 20. And while it might be hard to look at these numbers positively right now, the good news is that it's all trainable. This test is a measure of me essentially at my lowest, and now I can use these numbers to help inform myself and build a plan to rebuild my fitness. This means I have an accurate representation of where my training zone should be and what physiological systems I should focus my time on. Now that I've done this test, I can update my training zones to build accurate workout programs, easily track improvements in my fitness, and target specific variables to improve during my training. This test offers so much deeper insight than just a basic FTP test and really helps map out your unique physiology. If you're interested in doing a test like this, feel free to check out my website or reach out in the comments below. Thanks for watching.